All right, thank you to our sponsors, Sony Ericsson, Razer, and G-Skill. Down at the bottom right part of the map, in the red is our Zerg player who's one game away from being knocked completely out of the GSL. He needs to win. He is. That's what Kerrigan says when she's playing chess and she's about to win. Very true. Yep. Oh, there she is. She's like, let's play check chess. Check it oh, out. Check it out. Uh, check it out. She's a rapper now. All right, and down at the bottom left, in the blue, is our Protoss player from Starkale. That is hot. You know, their new logo has like a mouse on it and stuff, but I keep seeing it and thinking it looks like a loaf of fresh baked bread. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually felt the same way the first time I saw it. I had to train myself. Yeah. I'm like, you too can learn the art. <laughs> I love, you know, Starkale has a lot of players I really, really like on them, but the logos, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about a little bit of trouble there. Yeah. I like the original logo, actually. Well, I think the one they have now is good. I, I think it's good. It's just, <laughs> just looks like a loaf of bread. That's all I'm saying. All right, so maybe that's like the it. meaning, man. Maybe it's actually not what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's actually supposed to be a loaf of bread. Maybe. Maybe you just see what others can't. It's got like a cord attached. It's like an electric loaf of bread or something. Yeah, it's like self-toasting. What is this? <laughs> self-toasting. <laughs> <laughs> electric loaves of bread, man. <laughs> Why else would you make an electric loaf of bread? <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't answer these it's, questions, Doa. It's so obvious, Wolf. Well, <laughs> all right, so... Well, Czech has, uh, he's, gonna, he's been denied his hatchery slightly here. He's going to go ahead yeah. and he's going to find that out right now. Uh, it's going to be a Forge expand rather than Nexus first for Squirtle as well. So yeah. Making nope. that cannon first before the Nexus because he saw the pools and fairly early. Put down a pylon. Oh. oh, oh, does he get it? No, denies it again. And oh, oh blocks again. He's like, all right, you can have it now. Really nice. They're not even losing any hit points on that pro. Yeah. That's six Zerglings, though, and uh, he's going to have to make an extra pylon here to hold this. Yeah, that's okay. It's not a big investment to have to make at this point. Probe's like, I want to live. Totally fine. Yeah. Oh, and he will live. Good job there. And so uh, Squirtle's going to be just fine. How is Chet going to respond to this? Well, he hasn't taken any gases just yet. Yeah. You know, we saw Leenok yesterday do uh, some act some hatchery cancels into Roach Lingolins. That's something that we haven't actually seen for a long time. I was surprised to see him do that, but he kind of just identified the weakness in his opponent. Went for it. And Checks. smartly, Squirtle is going to check for a fast third, and he's going to go check and make sure that hatchery's still uh, there. Yeah, that's something you always want to do for sure. You want to get that probe or whatever you know back in there just to make absolutely sure. Very true. And finally, the gas is now being taken for check. Yep. In his main base. Things are kind of flip-flop. You know, back in the day, it was Zerg that always had to go in and make sure the Protoss wasn't Nexus canceling, like, five gating <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that probe... Probably uh, not going to escape. He's going to have to make too many turns. Every turn the probe makes is a slash on his back, man. Yep. Or a slash in the exhaust pipe. Oh, there he goes. Alas, poor probe. I knew him well. Stargate goes down almost in plain sight of this overlord. Ah. Do not quite see it though. Huh. Uh, that would actually be disastrous if that overlord saw that Stargate. It's hard enough for Protoss players to do damage with the Stargate play these days, but if the overlord knows it's coming early enough, that's extra bad. Doesn't look like he's going to see it though. He's just parking that overlord on that high ground. Yeah, I think Squirtle actually knows the uh, overlord is there, but he, yeah. he knows that if the overlord sees it, he's going to expose himself, so he's kind of like, I don't think Czech will do it. Well, it's so common for Zergs to hide overlords at that point, too. It's a really good place to, to put them. Another cannon getting warped in there. Zealot and Stalker coming out to pressure a little bit. Yeah, I do like that. Make your opponent make a few more Zerglings. Why Maybe not? Maybe even force a spine crawler. Yep. Especially if you can catch the Lings attacking the rocks. But oh, nice microbite check. That's that Warcraft 3 coming through. Yeah, he only lost one Zergling there. Very nice. Void Ray on the way. We'll probably see that followed up with a couple Phoenixes from Squirtle. Try to maybe get in there. Lift a couple queens. 
Flare very quickly again for Jack. It's almost done and here. And the Roach Warren again, too. Yeah. So he might actually be going for the same thing he did last game. This is really interesting. Very possible. And huh. the Void Ray is out. He's going to clean up that Overlord. He knows it's there. Yep. And yeah, that Void Ray, he's like, I need to run away. Nope. Not going to happen. Definitely not. And Hydra is done starting to Oh, okay. Interesting. Cancels his wow. Roach Warren. This is... Oh, he did. Well, that's a bit of an overreaction. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary huh. to cancel the Roach Warren in this case. Sure, of course, yeah. the answer to Stargate play is usually just a ton of Zerglings, and then if it's way committing Stargate play, then you want to have the Hydras as well, but yeah. these Queens will enough be alone enough... Ah, will alone be enough. Not enough to save that Overlord's life, though. It's like you made it sound really sad for the Queens. These Queens will be alone. Forever alone. I'm like these queens will be alone <laughs> enough to. No one will ever love them. <laughs> well, there's no king unit. No zerg king. No zerg king. No. There is a zerger king. That's it's Jason true. Lee's idea. Oh really? Yeah. Teleport success. It's true, really? man. It's interesting. Zerger king. Huh. Like I'm one. surprised you didn't know that. Well, I, I I'm like shame I on you. Know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, now Sorry. you know. Now everyone else knows, too. I guess so. See him on the ladder, maybe? <laughs> maybe and so. that hatchery, probably not going to be canceled. Yeah, there's yeah, Hydra's the here. Right there. Yep. That Void Ray probably not going to escape, either. Oh, oh, good thing Hydra's are really slow. <laughs> Only until the patch, then they'll be normal speed. <laughs> well, Squirtle's attack here has been relatively unsuccessful. He killed a few overlords. But back at home, he's already got a robotics on the way. Yeah. He's added up to four gates now. Well, that's the nice thing about going for this airplay, is that if you can do what he did to check, where he's forced the Hydra switch, he can then tech the Colossi really quickly. Oh, oh nice transfusion. Nice. There. Saving that queen. Yeah. He can tech the Colossi really quickly and then be able to handle the Ling Hydra army really, really well. And check did cancel his Roach Warren. Oh, but he's putting up a spire Yeah, he's now. already like a step ahead, man. He knows oh. what's going on. He's like, all right, well... You're gonna do this to make me do this. Then you're gonna do this. So yeah. I've already done this. And he it has does a get on seen the way. though. In fact, Squirtle adding up some more gateways. So I think we're gonna see enough stalkers to handle this. He may decide to just not even make any colossi at all. Yeah, we'll see. These guys. Oh, goodbye, Void Ray. These guys are really, really trying to play mind games with each other right now. They're really trying to outthink each other, stay one step ahead. Very true, and it looks like Squirrel's gonna finally start destroying those rocks, take the third base. And kill some drones as well here. Yeah, not bad. Might as well. Gets away without losing anything. Yeah, not even really taking any shield damage there. Yeah. First Colossi is on the way. Oh no! Hydra's on creep though, can chase these Phoenixes pretty fast. Nice control by Squirtle. Hydra's just like push off and they just slide across the creep. Oh, is he gonna get this queen? It looks like he might. Oh, this is some of the best Phoenix Harass I've ever seen. Wow, look at that. Part of this, though, is that Czech said, I'm going Hydras, I'm not making spores, and if yeah. you don't have any spores, it's pretty tough to hold this. You know, it's hard to keep the drones alive. Yep, and it's not like you can leave, like, three Hydras at each base, because yeah. they'll just get lifted and killed, too, so... Well, yeah, now, now he's finally, making... Yeah. yeah, you need to make the spores, you just do. Also, interestingly enough, making 11 Mutas, not going for Corruptors. Of course, it's like more that. normal to, to make Corruptors after you've actually seen the Colossi, but... Uh, you know, it's kind of weird to go muse when there are this many phoenixes just in your face. Well, I think he wants to harass with it, but he's not going to have the chance because Squirtle's coming across the map right now. Yeah, with just one claw, this is a really yep. cool timing. Something like this we very rarely see in the GSL with just the one Colossus timing with a bunch of ground units for support. Yeah, oh, I think this is a great timing here, but we'll see how he controls it. It's all going to come down to that. He's going to be able to deny a little bit of gas for check. And oh, those Zerglings are going to run right in with the Mutas. Check is going to take some damage as well. It's definitely going to go down. Oh, man. What is Squirtle going to do to defend? I think he's going to be able to defend this. We'll see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's going to have to micro those Phoenix as well. And Whoa. indeed he does. And this is what I was saying. It's you know it's, it's weird to go Mutas in this situation, but you know if there are Phoenixes out. Yeah. Well, Mutas can kill Phoenixes very quickly if the Phoenixes aren't microed well, but Squirtle's too good for that, man. And, you know, uh, Czech got away with all of his Mews, a lot of them very low in hit points, some of them with like two and three hit points left, yeah. but he keeps them alive, they're going to get that back one day. 
sucked These views are actually going to catch this ground army. Oh, this could actually be really bad for Squirtle. He does not have enough stalkers to handle this. Maybe with the warp hit, maybe with, with the, the Phoenix's button. Remember, there are Hydras in here as well. Yep, and Tech's going to run for it. Is he going to fight? I think Squirtle has enough here. I think so, too. He's got the nice Zealot buffer in the front as well. And the Hydra's about to be off creep, man. Yeah, I think Squirtle is actually just outclassing check here. This is this a series. really cool timing. Just one Colossus, go for it with the Phoenixes to deal yep. with the Mutas. Well played. Well played indeed. We check more trying to trap reinforcements, in. but he's just not quite able to. Oh, wow. He's actually just going to go for it. He's going to try to do the damage that he can, but it's going to be the same situation that we saw last game where Squirtle's going to be able to defend just fine. He's actually just going to send his zealots in here to kill drones and then go home with his units chasing these yeah. mutas. Oh! Nice, nice stop catch. there by Check. Yeah. But there's just too many phoenixes, man. Right now the muta count and the phoenix count are almost one of the uh, same. Oh, here come the hydras, but there's just not a lot of them right now. There's not a lot of creep over there either. I think this is going to be about it, Wolf. I think we're going to see Squirtle 2-0 Check here. Yeah, he's trying it, but GG. GG. Yep, that is it. So, Startail Squirtle, man. He he's is back. back. He's back again, maybe ready to finally evolve after all this time. He's like, wow, that was weird. You know, I have to say, we talked a little bit about the Startail logo, but the jacket, the new jacket looks awesome. Yeah, man, those new uniforms are pretty... It's, it's, it's always looking. cool to see a new uniform for a team because they never get worse. Oh. They always just get better, in my opinion. I think so, too. I feel bad for Czech, though. He's been around for so long, now he's back out again. He's teamless and, as well. Uh, and yeah. You know, one has to wonder, is he considering retiring? He, you know, I know he's talked about it. I've heard people say yeah. he's been mulling it over. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like things are working out too well for him on Prime. Uh, he doesn't seem like he has a big interest in joining a foreign team yeah, right now. Yeah, he actually now, expressively so. said, I don't want to join another team. I'm not actually interested in that right now. Yeah, so I think so. we might be seeing the beginning of the end of a very prominent player in uh, StarCraft II's history, early history. Yeah. There will be stories told of this man. That's right. A man called Czech. <laughs> like, let's have a moment yep. of silence for the mothership. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to save the mothership, man. I don't want to see that unit go. I think people are finally just starting to use it right. You know? I know Mass Recall is supposedly going to be on the Nexus and everything, but still. Well, we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. We will. When we, we will. get the beta, when when's that coming out, Dustin? I know you're thinking about releasing it soon. I know Hopefully. you had it at G Stars. I know people were playing it. It's why like, can't I play it yet? <laughs> it's like I've played through the Diablo 3 beta like 50 times now. It's time to move on. The Diablo 3 beta is really good, by the way. It I can't is. wait for that game. I, I love Diablo. It's such a great series. It is a good game. I wasn't a huge Diablo 2 person, but I think that might yeah. happen to me in Diablo 3. I might become a huge Diablo 2 I was a really big Diablo 2 person. It was a lot of fun. Look, we're going to take another 10-minute break, give the players time to set up for our next match. Don't go anywhere, guys. This is the GSL Code A.